Hello, friends. Uncle Marv here with a special edition of the IT Business Podcast. A couple of weeks ago, I saw the announcement of a 2023 MSP technology map, and it was put out by our friends over at the channel program, sponsored by our friends over at Synchro. And I saw the map. I had questions. So I wanted to reach out and get those questions answered. So I reached out to my friends over at the channel program, Kevin Lancaster, and our good friend over at Synchro, Emily Glass, to kind of help explain that for us. Emily, Kevin, welcome. Thank you, Marv, happy to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us. All right, so let me start with the question of whose brainchild was this originally? So well, I'll, 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 <laughs> you wanna go? go ahead. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm going to give you total credit because, uh, you know, we, we've been sitting on mounds and mounds of data, you know, and we thought there's there's got to be a way to get this out to the marketplace. Um, and uh, Emily had sent uh, a note across, say, hey, this could be a pretty interesting concept. You know, we had had different kind of, you know, versions internally of, of what we thought would be interesting map wise or whatever. But uh it was uh, I give credit to Emily for pushing it over the uh, over the line and and really thinking through, you know, this concept of the map. So um, so there, I had to jump in and give you credit for that. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for not making me take credit. <laughs> 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 Giving it, I appreciate it. And it was fun. It was fun to work with the channel program team on this. Um, like Kevin said, they had had a ton of data, and sometimes just having a visual way to look at things and browse just gives you a different perspective. Um, so inspired definitely by other similar software landscapes that are out there and software maps that are out mm -hmm. there, but you know, the MSP is a, a space is, is a big space and like we deserve our own map. So mm -hmm. yeah, we set out to create. All right, so I saw out there that uh, this map is supposed to be a comprehensive resource that will show visually a categorization of industry vendors by product specialty and basically gives us a quick glimpse as to what's out there because there's a lot more vendors than we know. Um, so let me just go ahead and quickly bring up the, just a picture. And yeah, a visual, a visual. A visual. Yes. And uh, there it is, the yeah. 2023 MSP technology map. And this is basically, uh, again, it's a graphic representation and it has all the vendors there. Now, Kevin, you mentioned that this was a collection of data. So I assume that these are already vendors that you guys have been in touch with and talked with. Correct. Yeah. So so up on our, our site at channelprogram.com, you know, we started aggregating the, the marketplace. And what we did is is we put up essentially a, a product review system. And as it started to snowball, I mean, just it just the snowball is just you know gaining in more more and more momentum. You know, we started to realize, yeah, this this is a, a massive marketplace. And so we we had we started to uh, create essentially parent categories, and then we we had to get into like subcategorization. So I think in total, I, I think we have something like three hundred different product categories up on our platform. But you know. We want to we want to put something together that was digestible. So we started with this collection of thirteen, uh, uh, I guess, top uh, categories, uh, and then roughly uh, six hundred vendors uh, underneath of this um, underneath of these categories. And this six hundred uh, vendors. There's actually roughly seven hundred logos on here uh, from just about six hundred vendors because some of the vendors are, are in multiple product categories, but. You know, as this, you know, this is a snapshot in time. I think we did this in uh, with the August time frame, and and since then, you know, just it keeps going and going. I think we're closing in on a thousand different vendors uh, that are up on the site now. But this is this is a really good representation of just how massive this marketplace is, and and um, you can put yourself in the MSP shoes and and you know wonder about vendor sprawl and being overwhelmed by you know decisions. This really kind of paints that picture. Now, this is a Pretty big picture. If you get it by image or by PDF, uh, it doesn't fit on your regular eight and a half by 11 size. So exactly how big is this map? I, sh I should know this. I know uh, Kelly and the team uh, put together some 
crazy statistic that if you roll this out, it, it's, I don't know, it, it's massive. I mean, many, it, it would be many feet. Many feet. Down yes, thank block, you. Many, down the block. Down the block. Okay. Yes. Wrap it around a couple times. Yeah. Don't print it. I, I guess my recommendation would be don't print it, but do browse it. <laughs> okay. So as we can see, you mentioned, you know, over 700 logos uh, with some companies uh, entered twice. And the map does have the categories. And obviously, you know, cybersecurity. Interesting that that's the biggest group. Yeah, it's one of the biggest yeah. categories for sure. You can see, I mean, again, this is one of the interesting things about being able to visually browse something is that your mind just processes the information differently, right? And you can see the security space, for example, is so fractured. There's just so many solutions in that space, probably names you never heard of, maybe even problems you weren't aware you had, or maybe you did, but you didn't know there was a solution for. So that was one of the things we're hoping to get through to partners uh, through the map is just like, take a look and see, do I, do I have this problem? Do I have a solution in this category? Are there maybe other options that I haven't considered before? I wasn't even aware of. So building some awareness for the problems and the solutions was really uh, one of the reasons we organized it this way. Um, and, and the security space, like you mentioned, it's really complex. There's a lot of challenges, a lot of real threats uh, uh, for MSPs in, in that category specifically these days. So just heading into 2024 was a good time to get this map out so people could kind of see like, what's my stack? What do I have? What do I not have? Where are there gaps? What are the opportunities and options? And like, what should I be looking into? Uh, so it was a visual guide in that sense. All right, so let me ask, <laughs> one of the more obvious questions that we didn't talk about in the beginning is I see a vendor on the map. I don't know who they are, but they look interesting. I want to click on them. It's not an interactive map. Mm -hmm. So if we see a vendor on there, how do we get in touch with them? Yeah, the easiest thing to do is just uh, hop over to channelprogram.com uh, and then think on the, the homepage at the top. Uh, you can drop down and, and you can search the site. You can you can actually look at the different product categories. So a lot of the vendors have their own landing pages up on the site, but we actually took it a step further. This We actually started this about a year and a half ago where we started uh, exposing in kind of a, a chart form different vendors in different categories. So you can go out to our stack charts and you know, look at the vendors see where they, they rank based on peer reviews, um, you know, crowdsourced MSP validated peer reviews. Uh, and you can click through those those vendors and see what their offerings are, see how many different products, how many product reviews uh, there are on each one of these vendors. And so, you know, we've been we've been developing this this uh, platform for the last two years. And um, we were, we were kind of in the process of making it, uh, maybe taking, taking the map um, and making it more interactive, um, you know, driving back to the site. But yeah, just, just, it just, it's really, um, again, you see visually how overwhelming is it, you know, this industry is, and that's why one of the reasons why we took a stab at these, these stack charts, you know, gosh, maybe we launched them about, uh, I think it's maybe 14, 15 months ago. And, and I think we were up to just under 5,000 product reviews now on the site. Uh, so those, what, those are what populate these stack charts. So it's a great resource free resource for MSPs to go out there and find vendors and and um, start looking to see how they can fill those gaps in their stack. And I think that's one of the reasons why, um, you know, when I was thinking about this idea, Kevin and the channel program were such a great partner for this initiative is like they already have a lot of great information on the site. So yeah, if you want to go research, learn more, uh, get reviews, you you can do that on their site. They've done a lot of work to, to um, compile that. Um, and make it available. So that's definitely a place to go if you're considering uh, a logo or a vendor on the list and you want to investigate and learn more. And then Kevin alluded to like, you know, improvements or or what we can do next year to improve. So yeah, making the map more interactive, more searchable uh, could be interesting. And also just year over year, I think the comparisons on the map is going to be interesting to see, right? Which categories emerge and have more solutions coming to market? Maybe which logos disappear uh, over time? Um, and watching those trends will, will be interesting to see. I mean, we started with 600 vendors. Um, it'll be interesting to see how many are there next year, how many new, how many are gone, that kind of thing. So it'll be interesting to track over time. Well, you mentioned logos disappearing. So that's the reverse of the question I was going to ask is, 
how often is this map going to be updated and how do vendors get on? It's funny. The moment we uh, published the map, I think we got uh, calls from about 50, 50 other vendors saying, hey, how do, I, how do we get on the map? How do we get on the map? Um, I think what, what's reasonable is maybe uh, updating it in some form or fashion quarterly uh, and then and then you know building to kind of an annual kind of annual you know large scale publication um, but we're toying around with it but it, like like i said i mean at this at this point in time there are roughly 600 ish vendors uh we're, there's about a thousand now on our platform uh so you can imagine what this thing might look like uh and and how we'll have to sub you know categorize and, and make sense of the data you know another 10 months from now it'll be it'll be pretty fascinating so one of the questions is when we see vendors out in the marketplace at a conference or something we know that they've paid to have a booth there they've paid to have signage there uh this map do vendors pay to be a part of this no ab absolutely not um you know on our platform it said it, it's an open ecosystem in fact the platform's entirely free for msps if they want to go in and start to you know, play around with what we call Navistack. They can enter their vendors and see what their gaps are. So, you know, the platform's free. Uh, we do have vendors that you know, sponsor uh, pages, so we'll put some ads uh, inside of the inside of the platform. Uh, but um, yeah, we want to make this a you know pretty pretty open ecosystem for everybody. All right, and Emily, I, I've got to ask this question, and I didn't prep you for it, so get ready. You're one of the vendors that's on this list. What would drive you to want to create a map that shows every other vendor in the channel? Yeah, I think it's a good question. I mean, uh, we, we touched on a little bit, like this is our way to give back to the community. Kevin and, and team have compiled a lot of great information that helps MSPs make an informed decision about you know, uh, the solution they're partnering with. And the map helps expose them to all of the options out there. So I think that's just good for MSPs and their growth. And I think Synchro, you know, takes the stance and I take the stance that like, you know, we, we need to be the best platform. We have a we have a month to month uh, term, right? That, that MSPs can sign up for. Uh, so um, we have to prove every month that Synchro is the right place uh, to, to, to spend your money and to help you partner in your business. Um, and the map is just an extension of that philosophy that, um, you know, you should choose to partner with a solution that you believe in, um, that you trust, and you should do it with sort of full awareness of, of your other options. If I, if I can add a little bit to that, Marv, real quick, you know, I, I wrote an article this time last year, and it was predicting, you know, 2023 would be the year of enablement, channel enablement. And I think one of the, one of the, the great things about Synchro, and one of the reasons why it made sense to do this is that, you know, we, we have the luxury of seeing, again, hundreds and hundreds of vendors, and we we hear from the MSPs what they want from their vendors. And so if you go up onto Synchro site and you start going into their resource hub, uh, you understand their level of engagement with their their partners and how much they actually do give back um, to their to their partners. And I think a lot of those resources you have up there are are not gated. So it's partners and you know, there's a lot of free res a lot of great resources up there. So um, I think as we looked at this, you know, and and um, you know, we got the nudge to you know, move this thing forward. It was it was no brainer to to work with Emily and her group because they really understand you know what it means to enable and lean into the channel, and that's what our platform's all about. So it was a it was a no brainer working with uh, Emily and the team and getting this thing uh, you know out to the market. All right, you saw me playing around with the screen there. I wanted to get a link up on the screen for those watching the video. There will be a link in the chat below and in the show notes if you're listening to this by audio where you can go and sign up to get this, the channelprogram.com slash technology map. And it's uh, something that you'll get a copy of. Uh, I think it's uh, both a PDF and a PNG image so you can mm -hmm. look at it any way you want. But it's I mean, it's not a big file, but it's a big file. Does that make sense? <laughs> you gotta it browse. does. Yeah, get some popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta scroll. You gotta scroll. Get that index finger work. Zoom in. Zoom out. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, I mean, those are the basic questions that I had. And I want to thank you guys for putting this out there again. I think it is great to be able to have something for people to look at the industry see what vendors are out there and not just the ones that 
you know, we see out on the road all the time or the ones that are paying to get in front of our face. I see a lot of vendors on here that yeah, I've never heard of them. Yeah. So. There you go. And now you have a way to learn more about them if you choose. That's right. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for hopping on. I probably should ask if there's anything else you guys want to pimp while we're here. No, I'll just say that, you know, you have the link up and you'll, you'll put it in the notes and it's free. So, you know, no, no application. Go check it out. If you can only, you know, if you know everybody on the list, great, uh, on the map, great. And if, and if you discover something new, then, uh, you know, you can, you know, no cost. So try it out. Yeah. All right. Better. Well, that's going to be a wrap, folks. A uh, big thank you to Emily Glass and Kevin Lancaster for joining us and sharing their insights on the 2023 MSP Channel Technology Map. Uh, be sure to check out the map, folks, because like I said, there's a lot of vendors on there, and you can find somebody in every category and get yourself covered. So if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe, check out more things like this, check out the channel program, check out Synchro, good friends of the podcast, and that's going to do it, folks. We'll see you soon, and until next time, holla.